So today I'm going to go and do it all the Particularly, how to use your power correctly. So I'm going to go through my mindset when I'm playing. My I haven't played in a while, because at first I thought I was, I was really good. I'm kind of rusty now, but I still can play pretty decent even with the mistakes I've been making. Alright, so the building I'm using is far because there's some information and some I recommend throwing tremors in place of this, or just like frequent supplies to see a bunch of items. And how the grounds are devour hope than her either. Or even more to beast to the advantage of the nurse's column, which already takes advantage of the hags very small terrors. And sloppy butchers, so you know the survivors stay in true. Say there's floss is also another amazing hag perk. You can never go wrong with pop, but uh, don't use it for that, but it'll hurt you. Surges so I can take advantage of the injured survivors and damage more from Jensen and kick it. Alright, let's start our match. Three medkits, this is gonna be tough. Alright, so they have remained to the match, so don't worry about that. Now the thing is, these three med kits is the sloppy plays are going to be a bit harder, but I will know for sure I'm going to be able to get some nurse's calling value. So I'm injured survivors and I leave them, I know to go look for them after. Father's Campbell Chapel. Alright, so this is actually kind of a tough map crag, but it's actually one that I enjoy playing on very often. Alright, so I spawn here in the world. Survivors are probably around here. Now, what I want to do is at least put one trap around here. Survivors are always going to be a pillar shack. Pallets over here. Both sides. We've got one right here and here. Placing this trap right here, if they walk through, and they get too close to this locker, they'll be forced to come this way. That's what we'll be banking on. And in case that has a fail, I have a trap from over here. It's also going to serve as a hook trap and a trap from that generator. So we'll place it a little bit further back here. We can also always hoard survivors into this. Same idea. Chest. Right here. This is, this is a window people as far as come out often. Alright. Little rule about buildings. Place always in the bottom floor. Don't ever place in top floor. Exceptions would be like the game and midwitch. You want to think about traps that are going to hit multiple things. I set a few traps, and now I want to go and trap some survivors. Free hit. Alright, they've already found my web of traps. I want to get some hits over here. Alright, she's staying. I'm going to place a trap here in case she really wants to commit. But she does. Alright, I can probably force her back into this trap by coming cutting her off. Plus, she has her friend over here that's not doing anything. She's not paying attention, so I'm going to be able to cut her off. Yep. Barbecue value, no barbecue nurse is calling. So she has self care, okay. See, these survivors are being kind of dumb, just letting me get nurses about calling value. But usually, with your small terrorists, you can get this happen just by playing normally. Alright, I'm gonna leave her slugged. 
and I'm gonna need to start setting up my my web traps since they've already started it. All right, she's gonna hit that. Let's set that. What I was trying to do right there is I was trying to bait her into coming. That's why I teleported and turned around instantly. I'm not actually chasing her. I am placing a trap right here at this window. She thinks I'm chasing her and she wasn't looking behind her, so I don't need to her by disarming that trap. I'm placing this trap. Because it will work as a loop trap, and if she decides to try to leave through that way. Alright, I know she's trying to pick that person up, so I can show my red light over here. I fucked up. And I, and I stopped moonwalking a little bit too soon. Now, I know she doesn't have dead heart, so I can just swing down her. I think she has Wordle Forever, because that was a very fast pickup, or she was just using her, um... This thing is very smart. She saw me place that, and she decided to disarm it with herself. Alright, she's looking back at me, the hack thing, so I know that the UE is running over here. I can see the thing over here is self-carrying, because my small terror is, and she knows that I'm coming. I have a trap right there, I don't need to place it. I can actually probably push her into that trap. Uh, this, this, these slugs over here are kind of more important, though. She'll pick... Oh, dude, sorry. Excuse me. Alright, I'm hoping I can push this Yui into... into my web of traps over here. I don't think I will need to, though, unless she has dead hard. No dead hard. I'm going to place a trap right here, because the thing, from what we know, is over here. I want to stop her from going over here. Thing about uh, Hag, even though she's an M1 killer and she's a prep killer, she's amazing at slugging. Sloppy Butcher there is a very good perk on her. Anything to say better than say this for last. If don't got sloppy, you say the best for last. And Franklin's demise also works because you can trap traps. We'll trap their items as well. I want to place a trap so she come over there. I stop him. I'm going to push from over here and place a trap anyways, in case they come around. Jeez, there's a ceiling here. I could cancel it, but I was pretty confident she was going to stay there. Careful, I want to look over here. I forgot I didn't trap her. Watch out for BT. Hooking is a very... Hook it. Trapping somebody that's hooked is very important. Don't put it right on them. Put it close to them, but enough where they if they would run to her, it activate. Think about smart locations. All right. I'm gonna try my place over there for earlier. All right. She's a septic or something. All right. Now her septic is useless unless it was an insta heal. I presume she would have used it as an insta heal. I don't know where that other thing is. I could go look for her with um with Nurse's Calling, but I think I'm putting keeping them over here where all my traps are at is a very smart idea by posting them. And I have like Allie over there slugged as well. Alright, see she's off there not doing anything. So barbecue gave me some value that I was not even really intending when I was putting it on. Oh she got co she COVID. Lucky. See, she probably has barbecue, not barbecue, decisive strike. That's probably why she ran right over here, or she hasn't thwarted Death Wish. I'm expecting a BT, though. I'm going to eat it, just because uh, I can go find her when she's healing. Okay, they found my slug I was going to get picked up. Do I want to show my red stain? Oh, this actually going to work. Oh. I don't know how she did not hit there. Yeah, she should have activated it unless she, she was like really hugging that tight. I'm gonna pretend the chase after her and go for the healing squad. Go for the injured guys in the middle of nowhere. Down them. I think she has soul guard. Nope, just a death wish. I think this one has a decisive strike. The liar blue pants. I hear them, see them healing over here. All right, I'm gonna get the the Yui because she's closer. Oh, I missed. That's fine. 
Alright, one of them's gonna activate this trap over here. I can actually probably get both of them with it. Alright, if she activates that trap, I'm longer interested in teleporting to it. So I really wanna get hit on this Yui who doesn't have the med kit. Alright, place this trap right here since that one over there is not working. And maybe even placing a little force him into it. Alright, I'm gonna try to force him into that trap over there. Alright, let me see if I can get her. Nah, I think she saw me place her, or she just knows there's nothing over there for her. I don't remember exactly if that thing used that trap or used that pallet earlier. She's gonna bleed down the floor, which is gonna work out perfectly in her favor. But the thing is, I'm not gonna actually leave her slow because I just the blood points. She has like, like 30 seconds left before she bled out. Because that time right there lies and it gives you like an extra like 5-6 seconds before it actually runs out. The thing, is, the thing is that since she's been hooked first, she's going to literally die the next time I down her. So at least I get my second barbecue. And the thing is, Surge has activated twice this match, but the thing is, it's awesome made all those gens in that area go back down to zero. And I have to take a single gen while still applying pressure. I'm trying to see if I can find this Fang who's healing. I should have probably looked out with Barbecue. That was a mistake on my part. So I'm doing God Pal on item. This trap will catch somebody who's trying to stealth. I can crawl into after getting off hit right here. I think they've gone to just hiding and giving up. So now I'm gonna place traps and these things called game trails. So areas that they'll commonly I don't know why I swung there, that's just a bad habit. Was that dead hard or is it, or did you just have a suicide wish? Search that gen up there. I can see some of the red sparks while I was coming down. Um I'll hook her right here because I have the two traps over here. So now, if she's on comm, she'll tell her teammates I didn't place any traps near her. And even still, then, even if they are on comm, sometimes it's even worth just putting a trap down because sometimes they, are have, they have to run and go get the save. And even still, then, just having them crouch walk every single time feels great. So that pallet's still there. The reason why I went to her is she was already injured and I'm definitely out of range for B2. I'm gonna get double trap whammy. Up, oh, it. I pressed it too early. The reason why I swung away from her is because she'd have to run towards the horse to track him back. If she didn't, I'd have enough time to swing right back into her. The reason why I'm not placing her right up against the wall is so it activates sooner before she gets there and maybe even divert her camera away from the. Give myself more time to actually teleport to it. <laughs> That's the thing that was just gonna bleed out because I slugged her for too long. And mind, I'm a rusty hag. This is not me playing very well. All right, she teleported. She set that trap off. So I'm gonna teleport over here and of course not swing. Um uh, I think she has this ice strike, let's eat it. I'm 
Now, with barbecue, I, I clearly saw that she just ran over my trap, so I can just swing instantly. If you know someone's with the runs your trap, just swing as soon as possible. Usually, if you don't have a clear side there, swinging is not a good idea. That's a bad habit I have, just swinging as soon as I go in. However, that's not good to form. Alright, well, that's my mindset of what I'm playing. Hag is definitely one of those killers that is very top tier. She takes some skill to learn, and once you get a hanger for her, she, you can just go higher and higher and higher. And luckily, you can really use any perk build you want. Alright, yep, she had a septic and an insta heal. Though, the septic counters the insta heal. Or it might be just whatever one comes first. But yeah, these guys didn't have terribly bad perks. Uh, they got a couple technicians, though. <laughs> this guy has some good perks. This one would have hurt me if they were using it more often. This is just a low rank player, just using Fang Teachables. This person using Fang Teachables. Self care. Counter, counter that. Iron Will, Iron Will. So some decent perks, but nothing that's gonna straight up counter me. Alright, y'all. That's my mindset while I'm playing Hag. Sorry if there's any audio issues, because I'm trying to sort that out, and I finally got it to work. Alright.